Hello developers, today we will use the table view in React. So this is our desired output of this video. In this output, we will see how to use the standard table like this, which have a simple title in the first line and in the second line, we have a title on the left and its detail on the right side. And in the next line, detail will be under the title like this. After that, we will send a message with this row, the table like this. After that, with the help of is disabled attribute, we will create this table which is disabled. As you can see, all the cells in the table are not accessible. After that, we are going to add the accessories like activity indicator, disclosure indicator, check mark, and we will also add in the text input box in the table where we can put in text we want like this. And in the end, we will add some images like this for all the rows. So let's get into it. So this is our basic React app with a simple text output of hello world. Now to import the dependencies, let's open the terminal and let's go to the repository and copy this command and paste it into the terminal and hit enter. After this, we have to link the React Native and React Native table view. For that, let's copy this command and paste it into the terminal and hit enter. Now let's import the components and dependencies in the app.js and we don't need this part. So let's remove it and let's change the syntax for the export default app because we are going to use the component in the app. Now in the scroll view, we are going to use the table view in this. Each section have a separate header and footer. And with the help of cells, we are going to create a rows in the table. So let's assign this cell style as a basic and for the simplicity, assign the title of the row as basic two. After that, we will use the right detail to get the detail on the right corner of the row and the title will be on the left corner of the row. Now let's save it and run the app with the expo start. So we got our two declared rows, but the table is not aligned. So for that, let's create a CSS for the scroll view and let's call it container. And let's give a background color to it as a gray, just to differentiate between the table and the background color. And the padding top for the space between the navigation bar and the table and the padding bottom for the space between bottom and the table. So the CSS are working fine. After that, with the help of appearance attribute in the table view, we can give a dark theme to the table like this. For now, let's keep the light theme. And with the help of header attribute in a section, we can give title to the table like this. And with the footer, we can give a footer title to the table like this. So for now, let's remove this footer. And with the help of subtitle value, we can place the detail under the title like this. Now let's create a cell which will give us the message in the console. For that, we will use the onPress function. So whenever we click on the cell, it will give us the message in the console. So let's save it. So we are getting our message in the console. Now to create a disabled table, we can reuse this section. So let's copy this and paste it. Now let's change the name for the table just to differentiate between the two tables and save it. So the second table is visible now. Now to make a rows disabled, we have to use the is disabled attribute in cells and save it. So our first row is got disabled now. So let's add is disabled attribute in other rows too. So as you can see, our whole table is disabled now. After this, let's add some accessories in the table. But before that, let's align the cell attributes quickly. Add the activity indicator. We have to use the cell accessory view. And let's import the activity indicator from the React Native and save it. So we got our indicator in the first row. After that, with the help of accessory, we will add the disclosure indicator and save it. So we got our arrow in the second row. Now let's add the check mark in the third row. For that, we have to assign the accessory value to the check mark and change the detail value to look good. So the check mark is working too. Now let's add the text input box in the table. Now let's add the text input box in the table. For that, in the cell content view, we have to add the text input component. And let's add some font size just to differentiate the text from the text input box and other rows and add a placeholder to show the text in the box when the box is empty. Now let's add some dummy text in the box so the text box is working fine. Now to add the images in the table, we will first import the images from the React Native. And in the first row, let's add the image component and we will use the border radius to get a spherical shaped image. Now let's go to the image folder and copy this image path and paste it. And let's remove the unnecessary part and replace the slash with the backslash and save it. So we got our first image in the row. Now we can reuse this image component to add the image in another row. 
and change the name of the image and save it. And let's do this for another two rows quickly. So we got all our images shown in the table. So thank you guys for watching this video. Like this video and give sub to this channel. See you in the next one. Thank you.